All right, good morning, everybody. Pretty decent day trading today. What I get? One, two, three, four, five, technically five trades today, I think. So we're going to bring them down all in this video. Hopefully you enjoy it. If you do, make sure you hit like and subscribe on the video. Subscribing is absolutely free for you. It means a lot to me. I would appreciate it. Let's trade. All right, so we got started today quick out of the gate. You can see here we're just in the first minute of trading and DVN is starting to alert on the scanner below me getting up into the 15s there and I'm looking for this push up towards that 54 range. You can see it's popping nicely off of 52.40. So pretty big move here. I put 200 shares out here at 53.82 trying to get a fill there and I get a fill there. So that's nice because we also got the ECN rebates on that fill because I was adding liquidity to the market that time but now going to look for down through 5350 to take a partial here we have 200 shares so looking for a 100 share partial to start this trade if it can get back down through 5350 at 5340 ish would be really nice if we could get down there quickly and it does start moving down pretty quick so i go ahead and i get the order ready here i see that it's getting ready to break the 50s and it does and i was like okay we can probably get 5340 here pretty nice and quick on a partial i go ahead and click the button and get filled there at 5340 with 100 of the shares so now we've got 100 shares and ideally this thing would just die right off and come back down through 53 but it immediately starts popping up quickly again and gets right back up to the highs where i was entering it and has the potential to go even higher here so i say okay no problem if this thing wants to break up through 54 here i can just look to basically restart my position with an another 100 shares here so i wouldn't be putting 200 in i'd be putting in 100 to get to 200 and i'm going to need at least up through 5430 at this point just because of the range and where i am in at 82 it's about 50 cents on a $53 stock. So it's getting and pushing up towards that 54.30 here, trying to see if I can get up above the 30s before I add in that 100 share add back to original. Hangs out here for a second. I'm getting a little bit worried that I'm not going to get that fill. Maybe it's going to just bounce off of that and come down, but it does get up through 30 there for a second. So once it pops up again, I click the button and I get another 200 shares in there at 54.30 average now with 200 at 54.06. So now I'm going to look for a move back down under 54. Ideally, it does start coming down nicely here and I'm looking at it like, okay, if we get below my initial entry there at the 80s, I'll take 150 off. So I take 150 off there at 53.79, and that was below my initial entry, so I got all those shares out, essentially break even. Took a little bit of a partial on the second entry with the ability, if it wants to continue dropping, to take it off further. But it started bouncing nice and strong once again, so I'm like, oh boy, maybe this thing, it is on earnings today, maybe it just has the potential to go, go, go. So I'm watching it, it looks like it's just gonna go up from here, and I decide to just go ahead and cover the remaining 50 shares out after it wasn't able to come back down for an $80 gain and this one did end up going up throughout the rest of the morning next trade was on a B and B this was just popping up nicely here off of the 180 range so we're up about six points here in just a few minutes I put 50 shares out and get filled here at 186 which was basically a top tick on this move so pretty happy about that and it came down quickly and originally I was just thinking if we get down through 185 Five, I'll be happy for a point, but it came down even quicker. So I got 184.50 for a point and a half. So made $75 on just 50 shares in less than a minute there on A, B, and B. I will take that trade every single trade, every single time, every day of the week. If the market wants to give me free money, I will take it. Next trade, we're going fast today, was AUPH. This one was popping up nicely here, looking for a move up and towards and possibly through that 20s. Got a little bit slower as it got into the 90s here, so I decided to go ahead and start with 100 shares here, or I'm sorry, 200 shares, and I'm in at 1991 here on AUPH. But this one got a little bit uh, more tricky to trade. It was not an easy one like 
A, B, and B, and D, V, N. You'll see here after it does this initial little pop and then goes sideways for a few minutes, I kind of just put an order out at that point hoping I would get filled because it looked like it was going to go higher. And you certainly could have made a case here for just cutting it off at high a day to reduce uh, a potential loser here, but it hadn't really pulled back at all and I was only in 200 shares here on a $19 stock, so I decided that it was pretty high probability it would still come down more and I've got room to continue to add in. So I add in 200 more shares there at 2025. Ideally, I will add again in the 2050 range. Now, this is where it kind of got me a little bit, not so much got me, but fooled me. It got kind of near that 2050 range, but never really got there. So I was never able to get another add in. You can see it just went sideways then for 10 minutes or so. And I just decided to put a stop over high a day at this point after the chart looks like that. It's certainly the correct thing to put in the stop at high day. And I just put in a target at 20.04, just four cents with the 400 shares, just kind of looking to get out of AUPH and move on with the day if it gives me that opportunity. But did the right thing putting that stop there over the highs. So another few minutes goes by. We're sitting there and we're trying to get the fill at 20.04. And we eventually do get the fill there at 20.04. So technically green on it, but really it's just cutting the trade to move on to something else. It did eventually come down a bit more than this, but I was okay with just getting out because it wasn't acting how I like them and I was just out of patience myself on a UPH here. So tiny micro win there. Next one was on Tesla. This was making a nice big move out of nowhere and this was coming right up into the resistance from the first few candles of the morning, that 916 level. And at this point in the day, I was just looking to kind of chill out and trade but not really put on any risk so i'm only in 10 shares short here at 915.83 looking for a move down through 914 originally i was looking for a move down through 914 for a half which was five and then 913 for the next half which would have been a, another five share short but a good entry up there just below 916 so you can see here are my original orders that i put out there at 914 and 913 and so I'm going to get filled here on the initial half share size at 914 here in just a second. It's only 10 shares total, so it's not like we're going to be making much here. But there is the fill. Even had a partial there, which is silly. I got a partial of two shares to start the trade. And so in hindsight now, I, I should have and could have easily left my next order down at 913. But I was watching the market at this point, and the market was starting to pop up a bit. So I was like, eh. I don't know, maybe I should just cut this one off and move on as well. It hasn't pulled back as quickly as I kind of expected it to when it made a 10-point uh, move there in two minutes. It only pulled back about two points in three or four minutes. So I said, okay, market's moving up. If Tesla looks like it's going to perk up here, I'm just going to cover out, which I do. Just another tiny win here on Tesla. Not, nothing really big there to talk about. But I'm trying to inch towards that $200 mark on the day. Which is when GGPI popped up. It was moving up towards uh, that, what was it, $12 level? Yeah, the $12 level. So I decided to front run it just a little bit. Only 100 shares. It doesn't have a lot of range in it. So I was only looking really for a 13 cent move here to try and get to that $200 win on the day. It was really my only goal that I was trying to do. But it unfortunately decided to grind me pretty hard. So eventually it goes pretty sideways for a long time. I wasn't able to get any ads in. I think it popped up over 20, just a little bit for a couple minutes, but you can see now it's gone sideways for 10 minutes or so. I just put into a route at 1192. Once again, not really a win just to cover this one out and move on with my day if it wants to get down there and film me, which it does. So I made a whopping $5 on GGPI. So you know, it is what it is. They can't all be bangers, can't all be huge win. So that's going to do it for uh, the video today. If I do stick around or get something when I'm editing that gets me over that $200 mark, I'll make sure to post that on Twitter. So if you're not following me there, check me out at Garage Day Trader. Make sure you check out my other new YouTube channel, Whiskey Tears, which is all about whiskey. Getting ready to put out the second video there shortly. I uh, would appreciate it if you went over there and checked that out and subscribed there as well. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. I'll catch you later.